I think in addition to looking in the multiply relapsed population at CAR T cells alone and in combination, we also want to bring this treatment earlier in the course of therapy. Right now, we're dealing with patients with a median of three prior lines of therapy. They've had up to eight prior lines of therapy in our trial. These are heavily pretreated, heavily beat up patients that can be quite sick. What if we move this treatment into the first relapse, when patients have had only a single line of chemotherapy and have relapsed despite their initial RCHOP? Those are patients who in the modern era have a relatively low chance of being cured with the current standard of care, which is high-dose chemotherapy with autologous stem cell transplantation. And so that's why we are going to be evaluating in the TRANSFORM trial, as well as other trials using other CAR T-cell products, are taking high-risk patients at the very first relapse of diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, randomizing those patients to a standard approach with an autologous stem cell transplant versus CAR T-cell therapy in that very first relapse. And that, I think, is an opportunity to take patients who are less heavily pretreated, potentially less ill, clearly in an unmet medical need, and use this therapy as potentially curative second-line therapy for DLBCL.